Welcome guys to this tutorial. Actually, I've received a request from one of you to make a save button, delete button, add button and navigation buttons for a database in Visual Basic. So, we'll be starting off by a project that we've made before which is the database program. So, I'm downloading the source code. Okay, here we go. I'll now add a couple of buttons and a label. Alright, so I've added a button to go to first item like this. I've added the previous button like this one. I've added a label to describe the position and count of the records. I've added a next label like a next button sorry like this I've added a last button like this I've added an add button delete button and a save button so we'll start off by the save button so let's double click on the save button type me dot validate me dot table one binding source the end edit made a table adapter manager dot update all and between two brackets our database data set so made a database one data set okay here we go for the delete button we will type made a table one binding source dot remove current L let, let's put it um, in a try catch block just to avoid any um, exceptions or errors okay for the add button we'll type between try catch statement Made a table one, oops, table one binding source. The add new. Okay, for the first, we'll type made a table one binding source. Dot move first. For previous made a table one binding source dot move previous for our next made a table one binding source dot move next and for last made a table one binding source dot move last and last but not least we'll handle the case of the label okay so we're going to the code we'll select the table one binding source and from the events we'll select current change and we'll type me dot label one dot text equals me dot table one binding source dot position this will return an integer indicating the index or the current index of the item that we're um, standing on or selecting so we need to increment this by one okay and space between two quotations space of space space another ampersand and me the table one binding source dot count this will return an integer indicating the count of the items in our um, of the records in our database so let's test this out we're gonna add new one vessel like more let's save this let's add a new one
save, let's add another one. Let's add a last one. Okay. Let's try to navigate. Okay, here we go. First, last, delete, delete, add, save. So it's working perfectly. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and follow the link to the source code in our blog so thanks a lot